Okay, guys, so I epic fail at everything when it comes to my life here for some reason. Anyways, <laughs> so the stuff that I'm about to say in the side of, inside of this video is very, very important and really cool about the theorem. You'll figure out my opinions of it too. Anyways, very important about the theorem, but none of what you're about to watch means jack squat. Unless you guys go into your advocacy. Links down below and a rant about it in the end of the video. Anyways, so watch the video, enjoy it, but just let you guys know, HR 2058, Cole Bishop Bill, both of them, idea, just a thought. What's up guys? All right, this is Dave, this is Coil Kissers, and what we're going to be working, looking at today is a pretty little beauty right here, the Theorem. Now this is a hybrid drip tip device, drip dripping device. I don't even know how to describe it. I just wanted to kind of get it out there. I've spent a week with it, um, a week plus with it, somewhere around somewhere around a week with it. And I can honestly say from using plenty of other devices, or devices, um, toppers, drippers, stuff like that, tanks, um, that I do have my opinion of it. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, go down, I'm gonna empty this thing out. And um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. So let me go ahead and get it cleaned up because I want to put a fresh build on it. Um, and we're going to be moving from this puppy to this puppy. I really don't. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to go to the stainless steel deal. It's, it's very, it, it, I'm very fearful that I'm going to do something that then causes it to be like I burnt the daylights out of my wick or something. Anyways, so thank you guys very much. Let's go ahead, take a look at the Theorem. All right, guys. So right here we have the Theorem. Uh, honestly, it says Theorem Atomizer, but honestly, I, it's more of like an RTA, RDTA, Jenny hybrid tank it's it's basically it's like an avocado um but it's beautifully designed um there are some drawbacks of course but it, it is it is nicely designed i like the sex appeal to it um it's designed by jbo inspired by suck my mod with their gorgeous suck my mod logo you have the wizmec.com your scratch and sniff on the back that neighbor man that dog drives me nuts that's the, this is the third time, fourth, fourth, fifth time that I've redone this section of the video because of that dog. Um, you can see the juice on the inside from me uh, on the go and trying to figure out how to do it. And then I stuck the coil in there because I swapped it on the fly. <laughs> uh, anyways, the Theorem Atomizer on this side. I wish I'd clean this a little bit better. And then the Wismac logo right there. Take off the little sticker. She flips over. All right, in here we have the Theorem Atomizer itself. Now, this does come with the Theorem. Um, I may do this this way with videos. I know it's got a lot of glare, but you can see so much more detail. Um, this comes with the Notch Coil pre-installed and way more wicking than you would ever need. I did not fully put this together because it's a pain in the butt to take back off, and I'll show you what I mean by a pain in the butt in a minute, right? They have the nice and beautiful grub screws, and with the provided, okay, whatever, we'll just take all this fanciness out of there. With the provided Allen key, which honestly I hate the provided Allen keys, but this one, this time, this time, this time they did a good job, right? All the grub screws come out there, right? And then the notch coil comes right out. All right, what you'll do is you'll honestly actually probably, you probably, oops, where did I put my scissors on? Right I'll show you right where you would want to cut it. You'll probably go to right about here, 
right? So you're basically taking off the majority of that cotton, right? And the reason why, and I'll show you when I get into it, we're gonna throw some Claptons on here, or a Clapton, I should say, onto this. And of course, I set my Clapton to the side, and now I can't find my, that's okay, I have more Claptons. That's, that's perfectly fine. I probably knocked it on the floor somewhere. I'll find it later. Um, anyways, so, um, with this, you're really bugging me that I don't have those Claptons. My camera is dying. Okay. So, you're going to cut off most of it. These things, I have to say, and it really makes me sad, but these things suck. Um, it almost, it almost feels like a muted vape. Um, I liked them at first, and then the excitement honestly wore off, and the anticipation wore off, and it feels like a muted vape. Um, now I hear that the notch coil is actually really, really good, um, inside of some of these pre-built type coils, which is probably because they do what all of them do, uh, which is wrap the outside well when you're wrapping the outside and you have a little bit more control because it's not just a wire this is the tube and then your leads connect wherever you need them to be so you can get as much wicking as you possibly can anywhere um, it does come with this Japanese cotton on the inside and it uses a lot of it um, which is part of the reason why I don't like it because it holds so much of my juice and doesn't give it back to me so yeah that's the notch coil on the inside there. Now, that being said, um, with this deck, it's really honestly, it's really nice. Um, except for when you have to take it off. And my example piece of when you have to take it off actually was on it. I'm special. Okay, here we go. Um, so my example piece, which makes me really sad, is this one right here. There it is. Right there. My second time re-wicking, I busted this, just trying to get it off. And, and it, it, it makes me so sad, I'm not gonna lie. It makes, it, it honestly it breaks my heart because I'm glad that they gave me another one, that they give you more than one, but this thing is so damn hard to take off. Once it's on there, it's pretty much, it's on there. And there's no getting it back off, which means rebuilding, because of how tight this tolerance is, there's not, there's, it's a very tight tolerance. Because of how tight the tolerance is between the glass and this portion, you hit it and pull it just right, you're gonna just snap right like this, which is where it hit. So I pulled it and I was trying to pull it straight and I wasn't quite getting it and then go choop, and it got sink and popped it. So that kind of killed it. So. With this deck, let's go ahead, let's build on it. All right. What am I doing? I need to be doing it. All right. So, before we get them wicked, right, you have to make sure that that is as flush on the back as possible. Let's see if I can line it up just right with the camera. And I'm so sorry about the glare in this, guys. But. I have no other light source for right now. So. Alrighty. So let's get them glowing just right. So I shut off the light this way you guys can kind of see how I got them glowing. Nice and pretty. All right, to answer the question that everybody's wondering right now, yes, this baby is hot. So <laughs> right now, where I'm at, what I want my cotton wicks to be at level-wise is right against this base, just a little under it. I'm gonna trim off just a bit. And then, yeah, hard to do with video recording. And then just a bit right here. Now, I know some people might disagree with me, and I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments. 
But I thought about it for a little bit. This is kind of a dripper RDA Jenny tank deal, right? Now, when I worked on the CF, what the heck were those things called? That was a long time ago. When I worked with those, man, they, uh, those things were a pain in the butt. But, 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 but. I always noticed that the ends were very, like, wet still, even though the cotton at the top, or the silica at the top, was uh, dry, right? So I found that it always works best when it was about halfway full. So because this is supposed to be kind of like a dripper, I have not used it like this yet. I'm almost afraid. So anyways, to go into the explanation with the busted glass, right? What I'm looking at is it's kind of sitting right about there, right? Just a little bit right about there. This way what I can do is I can tilt it, just kind of get a little bit more juice and it gives me more capacity in here to actually hold. This is only saturated to the level that it needs for that cotton and it's been working great ever since I did it that way. I'm almost afraid to do this because I won't be able to actually see my tank and then am I gonna break it getting it off later on? Oh man, this scares me. I just want to do it this way. That's why I can kind of see the vapor happening. And I'm not going to know if it's dry. I almost wish that this pattern was all the way down. That would have been cool. That is a question. So I can kind of see. Okay, so how do I know that it needs to be re -wicked? refilled? Uh -huh. Cotton starts getting dry. We'll give this a shot. I've never done it this way. Kind of worried. Oh, it does leave that gap though at the bottom. See, this is a question. See, it comes off no problem in the videos. Not a problem in the videos. Oh, okay. So, we'll do it this way. Now, what I find is you want to get it in here. Just like they, like everybody else has said, All right? Make that, create that gap, right? Get in there and create that gap. And then what everybody else has complained about is how they can't fit a dripper in there or a, a, a plastic top bottle cap in there. I have no, not had a single problem with my unicorn bottles and this one does not go all the way down. I should have left it on the glass mode. Okay, it's gonna be like the longest video I've ever done for this. Alrighty, so she's nice and saturated. She's in there. Give her a second here while I put her on. She does look pretty good. This is a new coil. Back there. 0.59. And she is creating vapor without a problem. All right, guys. Well, let's go back up top. I mean, that's the best thing I can do. Okay, guys. So I know I kind of transitioned out of the backside, the camera mode quickly. Um, and my video is grainy as all heck. It's a lack of lighting. I don't really have much of a way to fix that. So... And it's, it's still bright outside and sunny. It's just, this is how it's been all day long. It's dreary and I don't have enough light inside. So, regardless, I'm sorry. I'm doing the, hmm, I wonder if I turn my computer on, will I get a little bit more lighting? Not enough light. Um, with the Therum, uh, kind of regretting my glass choice, regardless. And I forgot to show something. This here, I actually forgot to show what was inside of the bag of goodies. So, and I figured it out, I guess the hard way that I didn't mention it, because I would have, oh. It's kind of the first time I've done a style of video like that. <laughs> so, ah. All right. So, inside of there, you can see my coil. Here's air hole one and air hole number two. All right. With the Therum. You get one with a slot like this, 
and a slot like this, right? You are going to want to take it, set it over the air holes the way that you want them to be, right? Then take this, right? And oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? Dogs and everything. Take this, right? And screw it down very, very carefully. Alrighty. Then you're good to go. Alright, and this is for dual airflow mode. And I'm honestly having no issues with wicking or anything like that. Um, that is at 53. I don't, I don't like this outside thing. I've never used it. I thought it'd be cool to do for a video. Oh, there's my wick. There's my wick. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it, but you kind of have like a haziness that's there, which is a little leads of my wick showing up. The theorem does whistle. Now, the whistle, I wouldn't say is overly obnoxious. Everything I own has a whistle to it. Oh, it was also the first time I've done that. If I have it lined up properly, it has a whistle to it. Which is supposed to be properly is all air hole open. Right? It all has a whistle. And I have another thing that also has a whistle to it. And let me have this. Right? Everything has the whistle or the... It makes us sound like Darth Vader, which is why we love vaping. Because we're ner nerds and we love to sound like freaks. I don't know. I got <laughs> The thing is, is the Theorem is a nice um, RTA Jenny hybrid tank. It really honestly is. I love it. I more than happily will buy more of them if I can find the money for it. Um, but it's it's what it is. It is a Genesis style tank. Um, I know a lot of people have complained about that hole, but I haven't had any issues. I just take my tweezers, right? I'll do it right now because I didn't do it before. Okay, my complaint that I have is is using this thing. This deal, that, that deal, that deal bugs me. Okay, that's my only complaint is the cool notch coil design looking tank, right? I just take it, stick it in there, and I never have an issue. I just create that little bit of a gap, and I never ever have an issue. Not once have I had an issue filling this thing back up. Um, and I go through a lot of vape. Um, I probably ran a good 75 mils through this through this RD or this uh, I don't even know what to call it this atomizer vapor production is great you can you can do clouds bro clouds sorry Graham I just it was the best thing I had you can do massive massive clouds with it and have no issues the airflow isn't very turbulent or like rocky um it goes through very cleanly um and all together it's just a solid vape so the only thing i would have liked is two things right what just happened oh that's what happened two things i would have liked one to make it so that i don't have to could you guys have put two right Two little holes, which a lot of tanks like this have two holes. Um, that that would have been really, really cool. Um, and then the only other thing that I have, I guess I have a third. The only other thing is I would have liked this to be like a, maybe a ceramic or something other than being small and glass. Because it gets hot. 
Um, and I like a hot vape, but I don't like a hot lip. So that's the only complaint I have with it. Oh, well, that the third, the third one. I really liked seeing what the other reviewers got, which was this tan deal for the for the um, for the reviewing the the sample pieces, and I really liked the tan. <laughs> Maybe Wismac will send me. <laughs> Send me one with tan and then I can have two or maybe, maybe they'll just send maybe maybe they can send me a just the insulator in tan Honestly guys the theorem is a great tank um, It's something that I purchased with my own money and it took Time for me to learn how to use it But once I realized I need to have and this is weird coming from me. I need to have Clapton And it needs to be single coil and I learned that from a specific person, Grim Green, saying, hey, he had the best experience with it and clapped it in single coil and take the notch coil and throw it in the trash bin like it should have been. If As soon as I figured that one out and watched that video, and I'm like, okay, Grim, we'll go, we'll go ahead and take a look at this. We'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, I haven't had a single issue with it since. All right, guys. Anyways, I'm getting very, very long on this. Pick one of these puppies up. I'll have a link down in the description to uh, a place that you can get one. Uh, because I bought mine. And I think they're at us. I bought mine at a local B&M. But um, I, I raced to get it because I wanted it. Um, I think myvaporstore.com has them for 25 bucks. So they're, they're extremely affordable. They really honestly are. There's... Not many excuses for why not to at least give it a shot um, and try it out. Um, regardless, that's my opinion. I like it. I like it a lot. And I'd like to see a version 2. Maybe maybe they'll send me a version 2. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I doubt it. Anyways, guys, thank you very much. Now, one last little bit, which I would toss out the entire video if I had to, to get this last little bit out. If it didn't fit in there because it's necessary. Guys, what I just talked about means jack diddly squat. Unless something is done in advocacy for vaping. Alright, so I was in the middle of editing and I didn't like my rant that I did. So we're back in the middle of my kitchen again. Guys, we need to care about two things right now. One, getting along. Good Lord Almighty, I have not heard a single YouTuber or reviewer or blogger that has not had to say this yet. Guys, it's not about what bills best or who's what and they, just get the hell along. Second thing, Cole Bishop and HR 2058 are the same thing. It's what our chances are, go for both. Call and let your legislation or legislators know that you want them to care about vaping. Get out there, say what you need to say, be respectful, but make your voice heard. Because everything I said in this video means jack squat without it.